Well, our parent company, Disney, is celebrating an important anniversary. It was 25 years ago that the first Disney musical opened on Broadway, and in the quarter century that has passed since, more shows have followed, cementing a real legacy in Times Square. Really are so many great uh, mm -hmm. plays out there. Entertainment yeah. reporter Sandy Kenyon here with more. Sandy. Dave and Diana, 25 years ago tonight, Beauty and the Beast opened for what turned out to be a long and successful run on Broadway, and so began a tradition of adapting Disney movies for the stage. A Disney show is being performed somewhere in the world almost every hour of every day. The Lion King has grossed an incredible $9 billion and still counting on Broadway and in various countries around the globe. Something about the Lion King transcends language, something about the Lion King transcends community, because it's about something much deeper in humanity and about things we all share. We met Disney theatrical president Tom Schumacher in the historic New Amsterdam Theater. This was only the second theater on Broadway to have electricity. Disney's move into theater began here on 42nd Street and led to the revitalization of Times Square. When the Walt Disney Company committed to restoring this theater, it gave everyone else the confidence that they could do it too. Shows inspired by Disney musicals like Frozen and Aladdin have helped to boost Broadway attendance overall by 65% in the last quarter of a century. Whoa, th this is some power. Today, he stars in Hamilton, but playing the genie in Aladdin made James Monroe Iglehart a star. I always make a joke that people would mispronounce my name the day before we opened, and after we opened, everybody knew how to say Iglehart. He also credits Disney with bringing greater diversity to Broadway. This was always something that was part of us. Lion King is, of course, still going strong on Broadway after more than two decades. Aladdin has been at the New Amsterdam for five years, and Frozen is a year into its hit run. Disney Theatrical is owned by the same parent company as ABC7.